What is going on guys? Welcome to another uh, Inform review. We've got Cara Denez, um, I believe I'm spelling that, uh, pronouncing that right, sorry. And uh, yeah, he's the new Inform. He is the one that I picked up currently at about 18k. I've sold, sold him for about 16k now as he's gone down rapidly. But I got, literally, I got the first one on the market. This actually, in fact, this is the second Inform for him. I'm um, just looking back at this. Um, so... I did manage to pick him up and get him done quite quickly. I have got, I think, five others that I'm planning to do. If there's any others that you'd like me to do from this team of the week, please let me know, and then I'll confirm if I am currently doing them. I'm doing pretty much all the golds except for the other centre back. I think his name is Juan. Um, I just don't see the point in him, and the rest look pretty solid. So I'll be bringing you them out uh, throughout the week. Um, so hopefully I can get McGeady done as quick as possible because he is the biggest one. Um, currently there's only a few on the market for about 200k and I just don't want to be losing a lot of money from that. So I'm going to wait for it to go down a little bit more and then it, and then I'll go ahead and look at that goal. I'll go ahead and do it for you. So going for uh, Karadonez, he is left mid Turkish in the Russian league in Ruben Kazan. I, I think I'm saying that right. Five foot six. he's not a big fella, he's 33. Uh, years old, right footed as I've said, high attacking work rate, medium defensive, not too bad, a bit more attacking, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skills, dives into tackles is his trait with speed dribbler as well, he's got 87 ball control, 92 balance, 89 jumping, 88 dribbling, so some pretty decent stats there, also with 88 agility, rubbish strength with 48 though, um, he's already averaging about 10k on, on foothead apparently, but he does go for about about 16. He'll probably go down to literally discard price, I'd probably imagine. Um, so I would go ahead and wait until he's done that. Um, first, the top common, in fact, poor guy, second in form, still discard price. Shane UT is all about pace nowadays. To be honest, I would disagree with that. Um, I thought he was actually quite pacey, seeing as though he does only have 79 pace. I was actually quite surprised with him. Um, he did get past quite a lot of the players, which I really did enjoy. It would have been so much better with four-star skills, but he was actually a kind of gem, to be fair. Um, he did assist a lot of goals. I think there's like three or four assisted in five matches. Or, yeah, five matches with uh, like all of them being rage quits as well. Literally, I think there was one match that managed to finish right to the end. The rest were all like rage quits, so I couldn't really get all of the clips in so all of the clips from the the five matches were done with rage quits so um take with that what you will so the player review part of him positives dribbling is absolutely insane he's got 86 dribbling which is brilliant um shooting was really good as well i found that he's kind of i would say long strike you'd keep away from but his normal kind of finesse um short range shooting was actually pretty decent so i'd go ahead and make sure you get quite close long shots weren't that impressive to be fair that's why I've only put shooting and the pace the pace soon is uh, seen as though it's only 79 like I said I thought it was actually pretty decent so um, you can kind of take that what you will I would like playing left mid with less pace just because I find they work better so that is just my preference I played him in a 3-5-2 in the in my Russian league team obviously as you saw at the start and the only negative I have about him is that he's a little bit average. I wouldn't say he's OP at all, but I wouldn't say that he is definitely like a rubbish in form. I've given him an 8.1, as I don't believe he's like a 9 because they're kind of like for the high rated players or the players that are kind of high rated and not average. This kid, you could probably find replacements for him, but I thought for an in form that I've tested out, I thought generally he was actually a quite a decent in form. So there you go, hopefully you did enjoy the video, I've got it out straight away for you, and I'll be bringing out more as we get along through the week, so hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did, remember to leave a like, and uh, there's two videos coming up from If You've Missed, and I'll see you all again next time, bye bye.